Can you imagine somebody in 1970 describing today as it is? Well, Malcolm Muggeridge did the very same thing. You got to see this. This is Ravi Zacharias sharing about it. Take a look. Ravi Zacharias, he is such a blessing. And I don't know if you've missed it, but, you know, Larry, the cable guy, I forget his hmm. actual name now. I don't know. He it. gave his life back to the Lord two years ago. He's given his testimony at Liberty University. We had that on VFN TV. You can see that at VFNTV.com. But he said he listens to Ravi Zacharias. So Larry, the cable guy, listens to Ravi Zacharias. He said, but when I do it, I got, I've got you got to have a dictionary when I'm doing that. Because he is pretty intense. But I am so thankful for Ravi because Ravi has opened up a school of ministry in Georgia oh, wow. to begin to educate. It's so exciting because apologetics, where you explain the gospel and the scriptures, mm -hmm. and he's just focused. He's got a great gift for it. He's a very humble man. And as a matter of fact, he said once he was talking about a uh, Malcolm uh, Muggery, a um, Muggery from 1970s, and he gave this this statement of what was quoted from in 19 19 19. 1970s. 1970s. Is Muggeridge. Yeah, Muggeridge. And um, it just lines up with today. As a matter of fact, let's listen now. In the 1970s, Malcolm Muggeridge said this, it is difficult to resist the conclusion that 20th century man has decided to abolish himself. Tired of the struggle to be himself, he has created boredom out of his own affluence, impotence out of his own erotomania, and vulnerability out of his own strength. He himself blows the trumpet that brings the walls of his own cities crashing down, until at last, having educated himself into imbecility, having drugged and polluted Looted himself into stupefaction, he keels over a weary, battered old brontosaurus and becomes extinct. Having created boredom out of his own affluence, we have become so affluent and so bored at the same time. Impotence out of his own erotomania. We have become so erotic in our proclivities and in our desires, we have become impotent to natural drives. Having created now imbecility out of our own gains, we have made so much of progress in education and yet have become so imbecilic in ordinary choices. And now ready to keel over a weary battered old brontosaurus to become extinct. It's just so powerful when you're seeing, I mean, he nailed it, 1970. Hmm. And, uh, it's just it's where we are today. We thought the seventies were bad because it's coming out of the sixties and the the, uh, the the things that was taking place in Woodstock and all the things the hippie, rebellion, hippie movement, and all that rebellion, and and it was it was a it was a strategy. It was a campaign going against the the American dream because they tried to flip the nation in in the sixties uh, through uh, Cloward and Piven. That was their names, and their their concept was to max out the system. Until it crashes and then reboot it up into socialism. Organizers, right? They're organizers, yeah. And um, it didn't work. You know why it didn't work? Because the middle class at that time in the 50s and before were so rich and so blessed, blessed. and so contented. And, you know, most, uh, ha most families have one parent that stayed at home and you went to school. Mm -hmm. And the enemy began to sell the families an idea that, you know, there's more out there. You need to leave this thing. And then that's when all of a sudden, it came in with divorce, the no-fault divorce, and divorce, you know, people begin to sign contracts and say, I'll stay with you if you, you know, do this and do that mm -hmm. and the other things. And then abortion came because you, know, you still had the consequences of having relationships and that, which is a byproduct of that is children. So then abortion came in 1973, but prior to that, that was you know, really very uh, re relevant and taking place. And um, that's what bred today, but prior to that, you know, that the, the American uh, lady was the most, she still is today, but out of all the women on the earth, she's the most blessed lady. She was staying no at doubt. home. You know, things were being brought to her. She was being taken care of. And not that she has to be, but that she had that option to be able to do that. And, and so they found out the only way that you can crash the system is to convince her that there's more out there that you're, you're being sold out. You know, you'd be all that you can be. You need to bring home the bacon, fry it up in the pan, and never forget to let you know all that kind of stuff was going on. And now look at the family. We can't find it. People don't know where they are. They're struggling with what, what title to put on the bathroom door. Mm. And it's like, we left family. Well, God's restoring that. He nailed it. 
in, when he's going back to this particular quote from Malcolm back in the 1970s. And so I want to encourage you to, to support Robbie Zacharias Ministries International. We'll put up more details at vfntv.com. But we want to pray right now because I believe the Lord's turning that around, but we have to participate in the turning around. And I just want to encourage you just to be activated in this season, to partner with us, to pray with us. When you hear charges about getting involved, get involved. Thank you for watching VFN TV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com.